All right, big businesses are reporting higher profits as Americans struggle under the weight of inflation. Back in June, Americans were shelling out an average of $5 a gallon for gas. Meanwhile, ExxonMobil's profit for Q3 are triple what they made last year and the most they've made ever. President Biden voicing his concern about oil profits at the White House yesterday. Oil companies, record profits today are not because they're doing something new or innovative. Their profits are a windfall of war, the windfall from the brutal conflict that's ravaging Ukraine and hurting tens of millions of people around the globe. It's time for these companies to stop war profiteering, meet their responsibilities to this country, and give the American people a break and still do very well. Oil is not the only industry turning a profit on higher costs. Take a look at PepsiCo reporting prices for drinks and chips up 17 percent year over year. The company, though, saying its profits grew around 20 percent in the third quarter. Rick Newman is here to take a look at what this could mean, I guess, for the Biden administration targeting more industries, given the fact that big oil is far from the only sector here reporting record profits. What do you think? Uh, here, here's my favorite uh, comparison. So I looked up Apple's profits, okay? So <laughs> ExxonMobil, uh, yes, getting windfall profits from high oil prices. It's probably going to earn around $50 billion in profits this year. That's full year and probably have a profit margin of about 12%. Now, what do you think Apple's profits are going to be this year? I won't put you guys on the spot. Probably double that, yeah. probably $100 billion. And mm -hmm. what's its profit margin going to be? Probably 25%, double Exxon Mobil's. Who is calling for a windfall uh, tax on Apple? Absolutely nobody. And who's calling for a win windfall tax on Exxon? Only a few people mm -hmm. right now. It's President Biden, a few liberal Democrats, and the whole thing's going to die on November 9th once the midterm elections are over. But he did address that in this speech, and he did say it's not because of any innovation Correct. or technological advancement. So he did address the difference between an Apple and uh, or, or an a Alphabet and a big oil company. Um, the question is, is this actually a policy? Has he ever laid out how this would work? To your point, there's no chance this gets through. It's probably Republican Senate, maybe and House, but what, how would the policy even work? It's a fair question. There are two bills in Congress that would, imp there's one in the House, one in the Senate, that would impose a windfall tax on oil companies, and you define a windfall tax uh, the, on profits above some level that's like an aggregate of the averages of the last five years or something like that. And could be, it could be based on uh, revenue. Percentage or It or could be revenue? based on revenue uh, to the company, or it could be simply based on the price of the underlying commodity in global markets, which is oil. So you could do it in one of two different, that's two different ways. There are many other ways you could do it. Um, you have to think very hard about the unintended consequences, because if you put uh, if you raise the cost of producing oil or the raise the cost to oil producers in the wrong way, you're going to just push up oil and gasoline prices. Um, and there's some concern that if you did it wrong, that is exactly what would happen. So I, I would like to point out, though, that... And hurt production levels in all likelihood. Yeah, that's <laughs> right. and, the, and the thing Biden really wants is more production. Um, it's not that he, per se, wants to punish the companies for making too much money. He wants more production so that we have more supply and the price comes down. Um, the, the, and that, that's probably going to uh, happen by, we're probably going to get to new record levels of U.S. oil production by next year. But just to, We're 12 just, million, near 12 and we're million. We're probably going to hit 13 uh, by next year. But just to be clear, when Democrats controlled both houses of Congress earlier this year and gas prices hit $5 a gallon, they're under $4 now, this did not get any serious play. There was talk about a windfall, windfall oil tax. Uh, they could pay, so Congress would have to pass a law. They talked about it. It was never packaged into any serious legislative um, package. Uh, and I, think Dem not, I don't think, even think Democrats could pass it. They would have enough votes among Democrats to pass it. So if you want to talk about could it work in theory, yes, it could work in theory. Is it politically plausible? Absolutely not. And by the way, when you started the show mm -hmm. talking about uh, oil, price, uh, oil valuations and uh, e XLE valuations up, mm -hmm. up today, up during the last five days, which mean the, means the market sees zero threat to oil industry profits from this idea. Yeah, yeah that's got to find out. So, Rick, does it basically just come down to perception? Obviously, when you think about consumer spending, discretionary, that brings your iPhone into question versus these three foot high numbers you see with gas prices. Is it really in terms of sort of demonizing some of these companies, whereas they don't do it for, say, food companies or a company like Apple? Probably. Uh, it seemed, uh, But, you know, think about another thing Biden is doing here. I mean, he's clearly trying in what I think is a fairly desperate way to play to the left wing of the, Repo excuse me, the Democratic Party. 
um, which is the progressives who hate the oil companies and would be quite happy to put them out of business. And we got to get off of uh, oil and gasoline and natural gas tomorrow. And it doesn't matter how much we have to pay in the interim until we have all the renewables. I don't get the logic of this uh, a one week before the elections because uh, basically it's uh, it, I guess the thinking is maybe there are these progressive voters who aren't going to vote. But if Biden comes out and trashes the oil companies, they're going to get all fired up and say, oh, if a, if a windfall tax for oil companies is on the ballot, then I'm definitely going to vote. Uh, I, look, if people aren't fired up uh, by Roe v. Wade, the Supreme Court overturning Roe v. Wade over the summer, I mean, are they really going to is this really going to increase turnout? Is it going to change anybody's mind no. in the last week of the election? I don't think so. And there are already a lot of. Um, independents in particular, and uh, some, and almost all Republicans who blame Biden for higher gas prices. It's not entirely his fault, but he's already got a lot of independents who think it is, and that's bad news. We often talk political football. This is a political Hail Mary. That's all it is by President Biden. Senior columnist Rick Newman, good to see you, sir. Good Thank thing. you. Bye, guys.